Well, I don't really know if I can justify calling this a crash. Maybe it's an unorthodox dismount. Either way, it was one of many today, but thankfully, this was the only one caught on camera. And that's my story, and I'm sticking with it. Anyway, see you after the intro. Oh, and welcome to Spinning Wheels. go then it's day 15 part one yes it's going to be another two-parter of my six-week solo motorcycle tour of Morocco as always I'm on board Klaus my trusty 2011 BMW 1200 GS adventure but whether he's still speaking to me after today after dropping him so many times that needs to be seen anyway today we leave Medelt and following more routes from the Morocco overland book we start heading towards Tantouche in the High Atlas region. Now part one of today was mostly spent off-road and with my very limited skills and several crashes my confidence did take a bit of a knock. However I did enjoy the experience and do feel I have improved a little bit. However I do have a long way to go but as they say practice makes perfect. Now if you're new to the channel welcome and you do want to watch the tour from the beginning Click on the link at the top of the screen or in the description below. Okay, let's leave Medelt and hit those trails. Now, as you can see, the, the tracks are quite compact, rocky and sandy, but what was really catching me out was every now and then you'd hit quite a deep piece of sand, and that's what I couldn't really handle, and I obviously fell off a few times. But with a bit of practice, um, I started to learn how to tackle it, and uh, it got slightly easier.
Well, that actually was quite a scary situation and could have easily gone seriously wrong if I'd actually stalled Klaus. I was quite relieved when the dogs finally gave up chasing me. Now these strays can be really vicious, especially in packs, and there are many stories of people being injured, if not killed, by these dogs. So, uh, very happy I got away. donkey enjoying the beautiful view. Now, obviously, I had to do the quick check Ooh. to see if anyone had witnessed my pathetic crash. So after that fall my confidence was a bit low and that is why I'm actually crawling down this hill but the views were absolutely amazing. There you go, it has definitely been a steep learning curve on this section of the day and I did feel pretty beat up and I know Klaus has gained some more battle scars but it was a fantastic experience. 
Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons. And I look forward to seeing you all again on day 15, part two. And as always, remember, every ride is an adventure.